Don't be fooled by turf marketing at Turf Cobra says, so you're saying universities are complicit in this whole conspiracy? He's talking about soil testing and misinterpreting a soil test, not having the data. Taking money from companies and allowing their logos, names, and data to be taken out of context and misrepresented. This is a little bit of uh, a straw, man. I don't, I'm not saying there's a conspiracy with uh, providing soil test recommendations without evidence to support the recommendations. I'm not saying there's a conspiracy at all, but I am saying that definitely happens even at universities. And I've been in those meetings where the, the meeting, the committees refuse to remove the recommendation until we have the evidence to support the recommendation. They refuse to remove it. And I suspect they refuse to remove it because it would reduce revenue. It's that simple. I've been in two different committee meetings at two different universities, and both of them refuse to when they when they present the, the when I present the data, they say, nope, that's not enough. And I go, well, if that's not enough, then we need to remove what we're currently recommending because we don't have any for that either. And they go, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want to do that. <laughs> we can't remove and stop doing what we're doing when it comes to recommending potassium. Well, why not? There's no evidence for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't do that. There's generation of revenue there, and they're going to err on the side of making money first. That's very difficult to turn away from when you're making that much revenue. And, and university soil labs are just as guilty as any other soil lab. So yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's not a conspiracy, but I would say universities are complicit in it. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying.